Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm here with my Teddy Bees ready to ship. Obviously it is quite a hefty one. I got 19 tubs. So you can see they're like semi color coordinated here. And then I got five souffles and my one sample. I went overboard, but I, I was feeling a little bit of regret, but now that I have everything here, and I've smelled everything, I I really don't have regrets. <laughs> I have one that I wish I wouldn't have bought, and there's a little bit of a funny story to that, so I'll tell that when I get to that one. But um, yeah, the rest of them, I'm, I'm really, I'm mm -hmm. pleased with my order. So this is gonna be a long one. So to start, let's start with the souffles and the one that I got the sample of. So I got a sample and I purchased the souffle and vanilla pumpkin sugar cookies, which is great because I will just keep this, you know, together and melt it at the same time. So this one, let's see if I can get it to focus on the words there. There we go. So a blend of our signature sugar, a blend of our signature sugar cookies, pumpkin pie spice and vanilla cream. This to me on cold, Smells like vanilla pumpkin marshmallow from Bath and Body Works. Almost, it's almost a dupe to me, it smells like. So I don't know if that is the tension, but uh, this smells to me just like vanilla pumpkin marshmallow from Bath and Body Works. And I really enjoy that scent. So I know that I will enjoy this. But you guys, seriously, when I was making this order, I felt like I blacked out because you know how the Radija ships are just so incredibly insane. So I had to like remind myself honestly of what I bought. Okay, this next souffle is one that I really wanted. So this was an additional pour that she did and it was the one that was in very limited quantity. So this was in my very first order. This is Petrichor, which is the scent of wet earth after the rain. I honestly can't believe I got my hands on this one. I thought that it would cart jump me, but I was lucky enough to get it and I was so excited about this one because you guys know I love dirt scents. I love anything earthy and this is so good. It truly does just smell like wet dirt. Um, I, I need to compare it to like the dirt loaf I had from Destination Wax and some other things that I have in my collection just to see if there's other similar things because Teddy Bee's Wax is really hard to get you know your hands on. But this is gonna be so amazing for the springtime. It just smells like that fresh churned mulch and like on a nice spring day and you watered it down. Um, that's what this smells like. It's so good. So I'm so glad that I was able to get my hands on this one. Like I said, I, I thought it would cart jump me and I was lucky enough that it didn't. It's fall, y'all. This is marshmallow fireside, sweet cinnamon, orange zest, leaves, brown sugar, and vanilla. And this is nice, but I wouldn't say this is one of my favorites. I feel like I get the cinnamon, but it's a little bit more spicy than I anticipated it being. And I feel like I pick up the orange zest and a lot of the marshmallow fireside. It's good, I think I will enjoy it, but I'm glad I just have it in a souffle and not in a bigger size. I'm not gonna take all of these out because we would be here all day and uh, I wanna try to keep the bags as nice as possible, but that one is, it's fall, y'all. Next is Fireside Marshmallows. So toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, and rich vanilla cream. This is just the basic kind of marshmallow fireside scent. But she has definitely like a really creamy, kind of sticky sweet marshmallow. I really like her marshmallow note. This will be beautiful on its own. It will be nice as a blender type of scent. Um, yeah, I really like this. I don't know if I get a ton of smoldering woods. If I do, it's a hint of woods, but I definitely get like the very sweet marshmallow and the vanilla cream. 
Okay, this one is the only one out of the bunch that I'm like, ugh, I just, I really, I don't like it. And it's my own dang fault. So this is Toil and Trouble, which is pumpkin spice latte, apple cider donuts, and fluffy marshmallows. Okay, so when I tell you guys I blacked out, like I seriously blacked out. Like I made five orders. So I kept going back in and picking up like a couple of other things on my list, checking out picking up a couple of other things, seeing what was still on the website, checking out. And so at one point in my last order, I threw this guy in and I had sent pictures of all of my orders to Annie and she goes, Alexis, why did you get Toil and Trouble? It has coffee in it. And if, for those of you that don't know, I hate coffee and wax. It's just not a scent that I prefer. And I was like, are you kidding? I like, I had no idea. Like either I thought it was something else or I just ignored the coffee note. I don't know what my problem is, but I bought a scent that I know I don't even like. So that just tells you how crazy sometimes they're ready to ships are. So I couldn't tell you why I got this. <laughs> uh, yeah, this was a mistake, but that's okay. Somebody, one of my friends, like Charity or Natalie or Kurt, somebody will like a scent like this and I'll just set it aside for one of them. So pumpkin spice latte, apple cider donuts, and fluffy marshmallow. I get 100% black coffee. I don't get any of the other notes. Now on to tubs. Like I said, I've got 19 of them. So let me pull these to the side. Maybe we'll just do kind of stack by stack here. So all of my tubs have no cracks in them. It's amazing. They're all beautiful. So I am so excited about that. House of Dragons. Oh, I should say I only got one repeat scent. All the rest were new to me. So House of Dragons, Palo Santo, Vanilla Balsam, Fallen Leaves, Peppermint, and a Hint of Cinnamon. This one on cold really reminds me of like the North and God's Wood. Almost like those two are blended. Like I get the vanilla balsam. I don't know if I get any peppermint at all. But I think if I remember right, it says on here a hint of cinnamon. But it's supposed to be a hint of peppermint. I think that it was a typo if I feel like I remember seeing something like that on the Facebook page. This is a very smoky, woodsy scent. And I think it's going to be great for wintertime. So really like that warm and toasty which is toasted pumpkins a dash of spice warm ambers toasted marshmallow and a hint of mahogany vanilla mm, this is so good this smells like um pumpkin spice donuts with like some um like smokiness to it I like this one a lot. This is one, this is beautiful. And this is one that I um, kind of regretted not getting in the pre-order. So I'm glad that I was able to pick it up in the RTS. Sugared cider, which is old fashioned sugar cookies, a hint of cinnamon and sugar and cider donuts. I thought this would be just like a beautiful apple cider donut scent for the fall time. And it is, it's so good. It's a very sweet apple. I don't get a ton of spices to this. It's like a very sweet apple donut. Just like the hint of that like mica in there. So pretty. And I, you know, I let my teddy bee sit for at least six months normally. So a lot of these will kind of wait until next fall and winter. I picked up another Witches Be Crazy blend. This is the Witches Be Crazy for apple spice. So birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spiced vanilla blended with crisp apples, brown sugar, cinnamon, and a buttered crust background. You guys, this one, oh my goodness. This is so flipping good. I really get the pecan waffles in this one, but it's very light. Like I can get the birthday cake that sugar cookie, like bakery, vanilla bakery base, and the pecan waffles, but it's not like pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath and Body Works, you know, where it's like super syrupy and sticky sweet. I don't get that from this blend. And then you get like that crust, 
um, the buttered crust and like cinnamon sugar and apple. This is unbelievable. This is so, so good. I have been scared of the Witches Be Crazy blends because of the pumpkin pecan waffles. And I wish that I would have tried them sooner because this is so good. The couple that I have had, at least on cold, I haven't melted any of these yet, right? But the couple that I've had on cold, I have really, really enjoyed. So that's stack one. This one is blushed, which is vanilla birch blended with peach flesh, strawberries, warm woods, and marshmallows. This is an unexpected favorite. <laughs> this... This might be my favorite out of the order, you guys. This is stunning. And this is so unexpected. Like, I think I, I knew that I would like this scent, but I love this one. This peach flesh note, it literally smells like the skin of a peach. And it smells so authentic and just juicy. Oh my gosh. It's a very fruity scent with like the strawberry and the peach. And then you get like that woody note in the background, but it's very light and it blends so well together. Like it's not like a strong outdoorsy scent. It is a very fruity outdoorsy scent. Like I think this would be awesome for the springtime. I, I love this one. <laughs> I wish I would have gotten it in... Um, bigger quantities, but yeah, this was an unexpected favorite. So I really hope that this one performs. And like I said, this is going to be one that I think will be just perfect for like April, May, June. It's, it's beautiful. Grown woman shit. This is Palo Santo, orchid, amber, and smoked vanilla. The reason I didn't get this one at first is the orchid and amber kind of made me nervous. Um, but like I said, during the RTS, I kind of blacked out a little bit. And so I did pick this one up this is the most beautiful wax out of the bunch. This like really deep, like wine, mulberry type color. And to me, this one, it smells like something I feel like I've had from Bath and Body Works before. It's very perfumey. It, it, it smells like a perfume that somebody would wear. You get the orchid. It's very lightly floral, but it's like sweet too. I guess with the amber, it kind of sweetens it up. I like this. I think this will be really nice for the bedrooms. I don't think I need any more of this. Honestly, probably a souffle would have sufficed, but I really like the tubs, but I do like that one. Next is Botanica. This is a blend of lavender vanilla and sweet on Paris type. So the lavender vanilla I thought was the Bath and Body Works dupe, but when I'm smelling this, I don't think that it is. So correct me if I'm wrong, but like this lavender is very herbal lavender to me. So I wish that it was a little bit sweeter, but I do think this is a beautiful blend. It'll be really nice for the springtime or at bedtime in the bedrooms. I do get the sweet on Paris, that like blackberry scent. It's definitely there, but the lavender vanilla for me really stands out. But like I said, it'd be good for the springtime and it would be good for um, the like bedrooms. Um, as well for like a nighttime blend. Next is high class. This is blackberry sugared violets blended with creme de bum bum. I've got Rip <laughs> jumping up on the counter. What do you think you're doing, silly? All right, let's, mama's gonna make the video, kid. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> Surprise guest, mm. always. Um, I love this one. This is mm. unbelievable. I love the um, Boom Boom Cream. I love Blackberry Sugared Violets. I'm so glad I picked this up. She actually restocked this one and put it on the website later and Charity noticed it mm. and I hopped in and grabbed it. So I was really excited. That's where my fifth order came from was picking up um, a couple that she restocked. So this is beautiful. Um, this is so, so nice. Mm. Again, I think this will be really beautiful in the springtime. Sorry if you hear Rip crying. He uh, thinks there's something up here for him, but there's, there's not, buddy. It's just wax. <laughs> but I really, I love this one. I'm so glad that I was able to get my hands on it. That one's so good. And I feel like I've heard about that one before. Like she's had it in other pre-orders and stuff. And maybe I just, I didn't get it at the time. 
Next is Winterfell, and this is actually the only one in this order that I've ever tried. I just finished a Winterfell tub maybe a month ago, maybe not even. Um, the notes on here are wrong. I think it's Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, maybe Birch and like Mint or something. It's a beautiful like Marshmallow Fireside outdoorsy winter scent. I love it, so I had to get more of it, but I'll have to see if I can make a new label because the scent notes on here are wrong. But yeah, can't go wrong with Winterfell. I, it's popular for a reason. I think a lot of people really love that one. All right, we got two, <laughs> two stacks down. Let's get some of these other ones up here. All right, this is one that she had also restocked um, in that fifth order that I did. This is Escobar, which is Palo Santo and Beach Treats. This is one that had uh, Kurt jumped me originally, so I was excited to see it come back. And it's got one lone glitter, so I think <laughs> that came off of something else. To me, this just smells like the beach treats. I don't get any Paulo, but I'm obsessed with her beach, like beach nights blends. Between her and Sassy Girl Aroma, they definitely have the best ones, in my opinion. And I love it. Yeah. I think it is so, so good. So I'm sure once it sets and cures and everything, um, and once I warm it, the Paulo will come out a little bit more. Witches Be Crazy for Blueberry. So again, another Witches Be Crazy blend. Birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla, blended with sweet blueberries. Okay, I don't like blueberries, <laughs> um, but I had heard a bunch of people talk about this one. And Natalie, who also does not like blueberry, got a sample of this in her pre-order and raved about it. And so I'm like, okay, well, I have to try it. And this is, this is beautiful. It really is. The blueberry is so light and just sweet. It's not that like heavy, syrupy bakery blueberry, like the pumpkin pecan waffles, the birthday cake, all of that really comes out as well in this blend. And you get this just light, beautiful blueberry note. This is really, really good. Like, I don't think I need tons more of it, um, but I'm really excited to melt this one and see what I think because this is a blueberry I can get by. Not that like very heavy, syrupy, really strong blueberry. This one is beautiful. It's much more in the background. You get that pumpkin pecan waffles and the sugar cookie and all of that too. So thank you, Natalie. I really love this one. And I never would have picked this one up without hearing from her like another fellow, not blueberry lover, that it was good. So I am excited to try that one. Next is Pacific Northwest Winter. This is one that she had freshly poured. So I was really excited to get this one too. So fresh snow, pine sap, fresh mistletoe, vanilla balsam, the slight hint of cranberries and burning fireplace. This is just that like plain matte kind of sage green color. Mm, this is so good. The pine sap you really get, you get pine and then you get like a syrupy note I get the mistletoe and the balsam it is a very outdoorsy tree heavy scent but I love it this is going to be so nice for next winter so I hope that she uh reports this one because I think this is one that a lot of people wanted and obviously did not get their hands on it over the hill and through the woods Christmas trees and cream blended with warm apple cider this is also one that I think that a lot of people wanted and they didn't get their hands on. And for good reason, this is stunning. I guess at the same time, we can do this next one. This is Christmas Trees and Cream. Fresh pine, vanilla waffle cone, cone and rich buttercream. This is a favorite for a reason. This is unbelievable. Every Christmas tree and cream like blend that I've had, I have just loved. It's a beautiful pine with like a very creamy bakery base to it. Sorry if you hear Rip barking. So over the hill and through the woods is that plus that apple cider donut. And it is so good. I love anything apple cider donut. And I really love her Christmas trees and cream. So this one's a real winner. And I know that so many people really wanted this one and didn't get it. So I hope that she pours it in another one. That's the, uh, the heartache with Teddy B's wax is that... Sometimes you, sometimes you don't get it. 
All right, we got five more. I applaud you if you're still here with me. I had to get hot pie, uh, had to try it and see what the hype's about, you know. So Palo Santo, sugar donuts, hint of chai, and a dash of pink chiffon. I was nervous about this one because I'm not a pink chiffon fan. Chai makes me a little bit nervous, but this is really nice. It is a little bit of a spicier Palo scent, and I do get that hint of pink chiffon, which I can't say this is my favorite note ever, but I don't mind it. I am excited to try it and see what I think. I can't decide if it's one that I would need more of or not. So we'll just have to see once I melt it, what I think. I saw that Tiffany said that she was going to put hot pie in the January pre-order. I saw that on, on Facebook um, when she did the RTS and this cart jumped to quite a bit of people. So I might melt a teeny bit of this um, just to see a little bit of what it smells like on warm so I can decide if I want more of it in the pre-order, but we'll just have to see. I don't want to waste it either if it's not like ready to go. Like I said, I like to let my stuff sit, but if she does put that in the pre-order, I do want to know if it's one that I think I should try to get more of or not. Christmas cookies, an assortment of baked cookies, powdered sugar, buttercream, pine, and warm spices. Felt like you couldn't just go wrong with this one. I love pine mixed with like bakery. I think that's so nice. And this is really pretty. I do get more of the pine than I do the bakery. But bakery from Teddy B's, I found that I like to let cure even longer because that's those are the scents that I don't get throw from if I try to melt them too early. So... I do like this on cold, but hopefully once it uh, cures a little bit more, that bakery note comes out. Creep Show, which is pumpkin, sugar, donuts, marshmallow, fireside type, sugar cookies, creamy cheesecake, graham crackers, marshmallow cream, and a hint of sweet spice. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> this is so good. The pumpkin sugar donuts is so good. I get her marshmallow fireside type, but I know what it smells like now because I got it in the souffle. I do get like a very creamy note. So whether that's from the marshmallow cream or the cheesecake or something, I get the creaminess and then I get like the fireside too. This is beautiful. This will be great for the fall and just kind of aesthetically wise, it's really giving me October feelings. So I probably will melt that next. October. Got I Heart Vanilla Peppermint, which is creamy vanilla marshmallow, vanilla milkshake, marshmallow, and magnolias blended with creamy peppermint candy. I wanted this one because I just finished my At the North Pole from Sassadol Aroma. Sorry if you guys can hear Rip outside barking. There must be a squirrel or something. Um, but I just finished my At the North Pole from Sassadol Aroma. And I really wanted like a very creamy vanilla peppermint, right? I don't know if I love her I Heart Vanilla, to be honest with you. So I have this one and then I have the I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples. And I'm getting kind of a similar note to it. So I'm assuming it's the I Heart Vanilla, right? Um, and I just don't know if I love it. It smells a little artificial to me. So we'll have to see um, how this is on warm. On cold, this isn't my favorite, but um, on cold and on warm is very, very different. So I definitely will give it a shot. This was poured in October, so I might try that guy in February or so and just see how it is. And drum roll, please. This is my last one. This is apple caramel streusel cake. Cinnamon spice cake, vanilla icing, brown sugars and brown sugar and crisp apples with a light drizzle of caramel. This one is not my favorite on cold only because the very first thing I get, it's beautiful, my goodness. The very first thing I get is like red hot cinnamon. I don't get much bakery from this. Apple, yeah, I could see apple. So it's apple to me and red hot cinnamon. So I am really hopeful and I'm confident like other set notes really do come out when you warm things. And this is pretty freshly blood. 
um, freshly poured, I'm sorry. Yeah, end of October. So I think this one just needs a little bit more time to develop, you know, the rest of the notes. Yeah, but to me, this is very spicy. So we'll see what this is like once um, it has more cure time. This will definitely be a, uh, a next fall type scent anyway. Okay, that's it. That's everything I got for my Teddy Bees RTS. So now I can do my uh, Teddy Bees collection video because I've got all my stuff. So stay tuned for that. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one.